guys. So I've got some stuff on the ground, um, but I'm starting to harden off some of my veg to, and fruit to put in to the big garden and around. So I pulled them out, but I thought now is a good time to talk about uh, the urine for fertilizer test that I did last year and uh, let you guys know that I'm doing another one this year and talk a little bit about some changes that I've made. So I've gone up to bigger containers. So these uh, 12 containers here are what I'll be using. I have four containers of um, pimiento peppers, four containers of cherry tomato, four containers of tomatillos. And what I'm going to do is thin these down to two plants per container. So I'll pick out, you know, like those, leave this one, uh, probably leave this one and, you know, pick out the rest of them or transplant them. So I'll have two plants of every kind in each container. The peppers I'm still a little early on, so they're just starting to come up, but we'll take care of that. And what I'll do is I'll have one as a control, one as a commercial fertilizer, and we're going to go to a local nursery and buy some fresh fertilizer together because last year I ended up using some that I'd had for a gazillion years. And, you know, maybe it wasn't um, fresh enough. One I'll do urine, and another I'll do urine with wood ash. And then we'll do it again. So control, commercial fertilizer, urine, urine with wood ash, etc. And this year what I'm going to do with the wood ash, instead of putting it directly on the soil, I'm going to mix it in with the urine and water and then spread that or uh, water it into the pot. I'll fertilize every two weeks. And the other thing I'm going to do is pick a place and keep these all these containers there. Last year I ended up having to move them around a lot and they started falling over because they were, they got, the plants got so big and they were in too small pots and so that was difficult too. So I had too many variables I thought last year. So this year we're going to dial it in a little bit more. We're going to be on a strict feeding schedule, strict number of plants, size of pot, so I won't repot these um, and we'll leave them in one place. So this is the beginning of that I guess. Um, waiting for the peppers to get up more. I'll go ahead and thin out the uh, cherry tomatoes and the tomatillos. And let's see, it's um, like the third week of April, so it's still a little early to leave these guys outside overnight. The uh, ground temperature is only about 50, 52 degrees, so the tomatillos and the tomatoes is really too cold for, and certainly for peppers. And you can tell these have been in the hoop house and they're barely breaking soil right now. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to do this year, um, and I'll do more frequent check-ins with the Uranus fertilizer to experiment here. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you uh, think I should throw another variable in and what that might be. Um, yeah, so this will be fun. Let's do it together, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, and let me know if you have any questions. And comment if you uh, have any other variables you think I should add or uh, bits of advice. Okay, take it easy. See ya.